Hello. I am Kate Richter, minus my other half, uh, Josh Richter, um, for 7 Minutes Seed. Yay! Coming to you from RootBible.com, where you can take live interactive classes for free. No matter what age you are, you've got to go check that out. It's about growing intentionally, spiritually, between Sundays. Um, we are in a current series, a semester called The Real You. We just finished Handle With Care. We're in The Real You series. Uh, now that you're a new creation in Christ, what does that mean for you? Who are you? How does he see you? And how should you see yourself and the workings that you are doing, your life, your decisions, and your goals? How do you really sum that up? Who better to do that with than families and kids? Ah! Because you're going to have to walk it out. Right? You're going to have to walk it out in reality at home. So, seven minutes of seed. I went long last time, so I'm going to do it right this time. Are you ready? We talked about joy in temptation and what temptation really was. Testing, a trial, but wow, it's great. This is how I'm going to graduate to the next level, the next grade, right? I'm going to test how much I've surrendered and how much new creation living I'm doing, how much scripture I know to respond so I can defeat the enemy in every area because he's already defeated, but he will try to challenge me that he's not. And I better know the word, better know who I am in Christ so I can stand firm against him and rejoice in this trial and move on up and resist the devil and he will flee because I know who I am. Oh, what is that song? I know who I am, who God says I am. Oh, I should find that. It's a good song. Okay, so what do you do? How do you actually do that? Okay, when your kiddo comes to you and they say something that they're struggling with or and you want to get worried as a parent or concerned, all that natural compassion, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's not what God says to do. So you're going to start with laughing. Hey, kiddo. I can tell this is bothering you a little, or a spouse, or yourself. Okay, this is bothering me. This doesn't belong here. I don't see life and godliness in this. And so I know that this doesn't belong in my life. So I'm gonna laugh at it. Let's laugh at it. Oh, you're gonna throw the enemy off when you respond with the joy that the Lord says you have at a temptation. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. You know what he wants you to do? Get worried anxious, concerned, everything the word says is no longer part of your new identity. He wants you to dwell there because that's what a good parent does or that's what someone does who actually wants to change. They're first very bothered and concerned. No. Ha, ha, ha. Let's just laugh at that trial, that test, that tribulation because I know the one that is in me is greater. I know that the word of God has conquered everything and that he is everything to me and in me. So ha, ha, ha. Who is stronger? He is. Where is he? In me. Where am I? Seated at the right hand of the Father. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, what did I do? I just pulled out three scriptures in a very short amount of time to encourage laughter and joy and truth. Because where is freedom? In truth. Where the Spirit is. Spirit will lead us into all truth. Where's freedom? In all truth. <laughs> what I do there? Just use another scripture. So what do you do? You help yourself, your spouse, your kids. Hey, I was I saw something on the computer I should have seen, and now like I want to go look it back up. <laughs> How much easier would it be to do what the word says that says confess uh, sin or hindrances to each other that you might be forgiven and and healed, right? If we could, if we would approach them with joy with them, like oh, that's an easy one. God's already overcome that. I can help you through that. No condemnation. No like, boo. No making feel bad. No like pretending you understand and leaving. It says no man's not attempted not like the other. Okay? You are not so much that you couldn't, I mean, you know, sometimes actually, that's why some people respond so poorly because of fear. Like they don't want to fall into that trap. So they're like, <gasps> You know, because they don't know who they are in Christ. If you don't know who you are in Christ, you won't be able to respond with, ha, ha, ha. You won't be able to. But that is how he wants us to respond. And then what's the next thing you do? Do you just stay laughing like crazy person? No, you're not crazy. You're just laughing at the devil's attempt to take something that already belongs to you. 
to lead you into something that's already been taken out of you. Remember, you weren't taken out of sin. Sin was taken out of you when you became a new creation reality. No. I mean, yes. But no, you don't stop at just going, ha, ha, ha. You then take your spouse, yourself, your kiddo to the word with the spirit. Here's that crazy thing the Bible talks about. Prayer. It's not just for you when you're alone. It's not just for you to say to like someone who's going through something, I'll pray for you. And you don't pray. No, no, no. You go, hey, let's go to the Lord and find out what we do here. We don't ignore it. We don't pretend it's not there. We don't get angry. We don't throw the computer out the door. We're like, well, I'm never going to have a computer again. No. We go to the Lord who is able to divide soul and spirit, bone and marrow, who can lead us into all truth, who has already provided a way out. Wouldn't it be good to find out that way? Or are we going to ignore it? Are we going to get rid of physical things and expect a supernatural result? No. So what do we do? We pray. We take their hand right that moment and say, God, you know what he's struggling with. And here it is. What verse from your word or chapter Where could you lead us in your word to shine light of truth and strength on this? Holy Spirit, we know you're the comforter, counselor, and guide. Guide us in this. Guide my spouse, me, my children in this to walk out the victory you've already won for us. And then you write that verse somewhere big and many places if needed. So that when it would dare veer its head again, if it even tries, because you're already armed, it's probably, you know in your resistance has run away. If it even tries to rear its head again, guess what's there? Ammo. Evidence that says it has no right to be there. The word of God. And as it becomes real to you, you won't be able to be tricked or twisted by the lies of the enemy. As it becomes real to your spouse, to your children, they won't be able to be tricked by the tactics of the enemy or the evil one. They will go to the Lord with confidence in his finished work and his love for them. They won't be ashamed to go, I'm so struggling with this. They'll go, Father, you are good. I love you so much. I'm coming boldly to your throne in full confidence of the finished work of Christ who did it because I couldn't. But now because he did, I can. And I'm asking you for guidance of how to walk this out by the strength you've put in me because I am weak. You are strong. How do I overcome this with you as I know you've already made a way out for me? You've already made a way. That's so good. Think about the hope you are putting in your children's heart, in your spouse, in your own heart when you know how good he is. And that temptation and trials are not from you. They're not part of the new you. Remember, that was removed. Any whisper of poor thinking even. That's why he says take every thought captive. It's not you. You've been made new. That's why we can rejoice when we can recognize, like, oh, that doesn't seem right. That trick or trial or tribulation, I'm going to find out what the word says. I'm going to find out what my new identity says. I'm going to find out how I've already been equipped to overcome this. Come on. I am fired up these last two. Because, you know, the church has just made tricks and tribulations and temptations. So, like, like, no one wants to talk about it. Right? Instead of go, hey, I know this isn't me because I've been made a new creation. So will you help me uh, walk out of this with the power of God that's already in me and the leading of the Holy Spirit where I seem to be coming up short in understanding. Help me pass this test. Help me overcome this temptation with scripture, with the word, with the guiding and leading of the Holy Spirit, with prayer, with all of the things that bring out what he's already put in me and, and allow his identity to be lived through me, not me hide away in shame or condemnation because um, I believed a voice that was not my own, nor does it belong to me. Ah! Or nor does it speak truth. Okay, it's been seven minutes. I said I would go fast this time. Thank you for joining me for 7-Minute Seed. We will be back here again. I hope you will join me for the next 7-Minute Seed. And listen, if you don't have your kids registered yet for the real you at rootbible.com, you need to. Does it matter their age? I think I just spit across the room. It doesn't <laughs> It doesn't matter their age. We have a class for every age. Did you know that? Every age. How cool is that? So you can register now. Have them try out a class. What's it going to hurt? 
Like they jump in an elementary class live, they enjoy it, they learn a few things, and you're like, we're never doing that again. No, it's totally free. So go register. Help them grow in who they have been created before their mother's womb to be, to walk out the plans, the purposes. It's powerful. How many more P's can I say? Thanks for joining me. God's blessings to overwhelming and overflowing until we meet again. Bye-bye.